In this lesson, you will learn some more about fractions. So fractions are part of a whole. In this case, this whole set is your whole. So I have one, two, three, four, five circles here. Okay, so they're different. Some are the same, some are different, but there are five circles. So my whole is five. In this case, I see two have smiley faces. So two is the part and five is the whole, two out of five. If I wanted to do blue, the whole is still five. How many are blue? Well, there are one blue, there is one blue, and there are five total. So my fraction is one blue out of five total. Two smiley faces out of five total, okay? Down here, I have a different set, a different whole. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven is my whole. Seven is my denominator, is what we call that number. And if I wanted to do smiley faces for this one, I would count the smiley faces. One, two, three, four. The part, there are four smiley faces out of seven total. I could do blue. How many are blue out of the total? One, two, three are blue and there are seven total shapes here, okay? If I wanted to do pink, it would be two pink out of seven total. One yellow out of seven total, okay? If we look at this set, this set is a little different. I have a bunch of different shapes, but I still have one whole set. There's different shapes, there's different colors. So let's say I wanted to know what fraction of this set is green. Well, I see one, two, three, four parts that are green, but I have to know the total. So I have to count up all of the pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, oops, out of eight are green. I could do squares. I see one, two, three squares and eight total pieces. I could do um, rectangles. How many rectangles? One, two, three, four. Yes, a square is a rectangle. So there are four rectangles and eight possible, or eight total pieces. Yellow, yellow, there's one yellow out of eight total pieces. So from a set, you decide how many pieces have that characteristic that you need out of the total number in the set. That's the end of our lesson on fractions.